a little theory behind this so it's all in the key of F major but uh, we're using a lot of the major pentatonic scale in all these licks a um, few interesting licks that he uses a lot actually is uh, this kind of stuff and I use it also a lot because I think it's cool so what happens here this lick is all uh, this is all for the C major uh, arpeggio here's the C fifth and the third and it starts with this so this C shape is the, f the five chord of in uh, the key of F major so this note is the five and it starts with this that minor third to the major third back to the root So for this lick, uh, I, I visualize this uh, making a melody over this. And here we have the same C again. So, so that would be like a, a little thing to, to visualize. And that's very bluesy because it's also that minor third to that major third that we have here in the start. Then we go back to that C and end on the C. So that whole lick is very easy to transpose to other keys. If you just uh, move this to uh, example D, this would be the D. Very easy to use in uh, blues progressions and such, so that's why I like this lick very much. It's also not that hard to play, actually. It's, it's very organic, um, so that would be an interesting lick to steal. Um, okay. Also, another in interesting lick. To steal is this one so I would visualize this as um, let's say we were playing in the key of D minor this is basically exactly the same shape as that one in uh, F major but we start with F but this if you visualize it in D you're gonna have this as a root D D D so uh, that first lick, this one is uh, actually, I, I visualize it more as a G minor arpeggio. And G minor arpeggio is also in the key of F major. So if we have the key of F major, F, G, A, B flat, C, D, E, F, this will be the two chord out of tune. But uh, if you use this two chord, that's like basically that my arpeggio with a second. So root, minor third, fifth. And it uh, resolves in a major, in a F major arpeggio, F major seven arpeggio. So here's the F, major seven, fifth, third. So it goes like two arpeggios, G minor, F major. But if it ends on the D, it's more appropriate to visualize it as a lick you can play in D minor pentatonic. So it sounds more done. But it's a mix of those two arpeggios that I find interesting. Also, the, the lick that uh, at the end, those big uh, jumpies, it's not an octave jump, but so it starts uh, again, I'm, I'm visualizing again in D minor, minor third root, flat seven. 
and then we have root, fourth, minor third. So this is also just a fun thing to to use in if you're let's say you're playing in uh, D minor pentatonic. It's just something you have to experiment with it, of course, but uh, it's fun to do that. And right at the end, I'm going back to that C major arpeggio that ends on the D. So that's the way I visualize it, uh, if I have to explain it. But um, yeah, these licks are not hit are not the hardest licks he has, um, playing technically of course, uh, he has much harder solos to learn, but this is a really good um, solo if you're getting into these cuts and licks, so uh, yeah, hope you have something, hope you enjoy these.